So now we've got our, our notifications working and we've decided we want to publish this application. There are three things we need to do to prepare to prepare the application for notification use for notifications uh, in production. The first thing we need to do is go to identifiers in the Apple developer portal and go to push demo app and when you go down to push notifications we'll need to edit and create a production SSL certificate. We'll need to upload a certificate signing request which we'll get from keychain access. Keychain access up here certificate assistance assistant uh, request a certificate from a certificate authority into your email save it to the disk continue save it to the desktop that's fine certificate has been created okay and now I can just drag that from the desktop which I will have here straight to Straight to there. Oh, it's been there. We are. Continue. Download certificate. Now I'm going to open the certificate, and you'll see here it will be called Apple Push Services, and it will have the name of your application, your bundle identifier. So I export two items, and I'll save this. See where I save this. Certificates push dist, i.e. distribution. Save that P12 file, won't specify anything. Um, put in my keychain password. That is all done. Okay, now we need to go to Azure Notification Hub and go to Apple. And actually, I'm going to delete this credential. Yes, delete it. And we'll Go back to Apple and select certificate. Upload this new certificate, i.e. the distribution one. We haven't got a password. And now select production before we have selected sandbox. Save this. That's done. Now you will also need a, a distribution provisioning profile. Provisioning profile for distribution. And I won't cover this here because that applies to all apps. Okay, so that's two things done. We've uh, generated a certificate and uploaded it to the notification hub. Now the next thing to do is to um, go to our Visual Studio, go to Visual Studio, go to entitlements.plist, actually change this to production. That is the third thing we've done. And that's pretty much it. Android is ready. iOS is ready. We are ready to go. You can now submit this for review. And once you've waited the day or so for uh, Apple to review it, then you're all ready to go. And your application will be able to use push notifications. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much. In the future, I'll also make a video on how to use this exact same implementation for Xamarin Native. Because with Xamarin Native, this doesn't work.